Mark, sir. Sure. Chief Todd Milburn, M-I-L-B-U-R-N. I'm with Edina Police. And thank you everyone for coming. We're going to talk a little bit today about what happened here earlier. Um, at about 12.11 hours or 12.11 p.m., officers with the Edina Police Department along with numerous other police officers responded to the Saltdale Shopping Center on a reported shooting. At the time of the event, we had an officer that was in uniform working inside of the mall, and that officer also heard the shot fired. We have one shot that was fired inside, and that officer heard that threat and immediately responded to uh, what he perceived or where he perceived the threat was occurring from. The officer determined that the shot was fired near Hennepin, the Hennepin County Service Center, which is just inside door number 13 here at the mall. The officer immediately responded to that threat, as numerous other law enforcement agencies also responded to the mall here as the 911 calls were coming in. Officers quickly determined that the suspect involved in this quickly fled the mall. And preliminary investigation revealed that a, that a one, or I should say a lone individual was involved with the shooting inside of the mall, and that that person had jumped into an awaiting vehicle just outside of the mall. And so we know that there were two people involved in this incident, and they also had fled the mall before police arrived and were able to fully secure the scene. Officers conducted a search inside the mall to ensure everyone was safe. The mall did go into a lockdown, but that lockdown has since been lifted. We are continuing to gather information. It is very early in the investigation, so I don't have a lot of additional details to share. Uh, we're learning more as we go through this investigation. And of course, if we have more information to uh, provide, we will certainly do that later today. Do you have any idea on who this person was? Were there cameras inside? Uh, we're working with Mall to gather video evidence. Uh, it's just too early again to, uh, to articulate exactly what happened inside, but that's very much part of the active criminal investigation. So this wasn't, we can't depict this as an accidental discharge. We don't know that. We're working through those details. One, uh, one fact that we're able to share is that the person involved did fire his handgun into the ground. Do you what? know if anyone was injured? Anyone the hit? person involved was injured slightly, that much we know. Uh, the extent of injuries are known because that person jumped into a car and fled the area prior to our arrival. I know that this center can be very busy sometimes. Was there chaos? People scared? Did people hit the ground? Can you describe what it was like inside? Well, there were people that uh, obviously were um, very concerned about their safety and fled in different directions, but I would credit the, the quick thinking of the staff here that went uh, put them all in the lockdown. Of course, we had a police officer on site, so I think people here felt reassured in a very quick manner. We had a lot of resources coming in from nearby agencies. It's very common for us to have uh, agencies such as Bloomington Police, and Prairie Police, Hennepin County Sheriff's Office, and all agencies come in to help out in an event like this. And so we get a lot of resources in play in a very quick period of time. We saw a lot of attention in the parking lot. Officers looking through cars. Were you looking for maybe the suspect had a different car and then jumped into another car? It's just part of the, the investigation. Being that uh, we are close to door number 13, just uh, the nature of the investigation brings us outside and just to make sure that we're checking every area out. So what you likely saw is just investigators and detectives doing a very thorough job of documenting the scene here. I know there have been a number of incidents at the Mall of America involving guns. Uh, is it routine? Is it normal for an officer to be here during the day? Uh, this, this officer was working what we call on contract here for one of the businesses. Not a direct correlation to what occurred at the Mall of America, but it's just an extra security feature that a business decided to have here in place. And we've been doing that for a number of years here. Thank okay, you, we will provide information later on as it becomes available. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll just grab the mic, please. Yeah, I'll take the skill.